This episode brought- Commercial! I'm contractually obligated to let this continue. This episode brought to you by DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. Also brought to you by Chime, the award-winning app and debit card that can save you money today. We good? Okay. Commercials! After these messages. After these messages. After these messages. After these messages. We'll be right back. <laughs> Watch me get cancelled. Samurai Kokusan with free karate lesson. Free? Aya Koku Pebbles Daska. While many of you might be shocked at this, it does make more sense when you realize the original name of the cereal was Breakfast at Barney's. Watch me trick Fred out of Coco Pebble. You have to understand, the Stone Age was a different time. Rock's News was telling everybody this wasn't racist at all. Mmm, chop chop! Damn it, sensitive 80s, ruining my innocent cartoons! Nothing like this ever happened in the original, oh god! Etc. 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 Oh, that's for sure. The Flintstones have officially been replaced as the Cocoa Pebbles mascot. We present to you our new spokesperson, James Bond. God damn it. Yappa! Yappa! Cocolicious! I'll be amazed if this doesn't end with a gong. Uh oh. Sayonara! Well, at least it didn't begin with a gong. You're getting all the check marks, aren't you? I guess it's this came out during the Karate Kid phase, uh, part one, and we're trying to cash in on that. But man, this ad hilariously backfired in the long run. Money, my pebbles! Most cocoa, fruity pebbles cereal. Part of this uncomfortable breakfast. Ronald McDonald and friends in the Hamburgly Touch. Well, we just figured out the real reason he went to prison. This is one of those commercials that honestly just has one scene that cracks me up, and for all I know, maybe it's just me. But it's worth sharing in case there's other people who bust a gut seeing it. The Hamburglar has a dream that anything he touches turns to cheeseburgers. Cheeseburger? Cheeseburger! <laughs> Whoa. Cute, whatever, but then it leads to... Rob a big cheeseburger! Don't touch Grimace! Oh my god, that is my everything! The image of an escaped convict going up to Barney the Dinosaur's clitoris and a scary clown covering his junk saying, Don't touch Grimace! It's top five funniest things I've ever seen. Don't touch Grimace! <laughs> top three. It also doesn't help that Hamburglar's voice sounds like a perverted Buster Bunny. Touch! Touch! Touch my face! Please stop saying touch. You sound like a guy who's calling a sex hotline for the first time. Hello, big boy. Touch! Mmm. Where would you like me to touch you? Touch! You don't do this very often, do ya? Touch my face! Okay, I charge double for calls like this. Ah, oh, boy. <sighs> Hello? Do you have Prince Albert in a can? <laughs> I guess this commercial's okay. Just keep the term ham diddler out of your head when watching it. It's a good time for the great taste. You haven't touched your cheeseburgers. <laughs> Wait, aren't they also alive? I thought too hard about this! Cold chocolate is scrunchies when it crunches. Everybody was on coke in the 80s. This crunch bar commercial clearly roofied all its actors because they act like every Rice Krispie in it is a speed pellet. Chocolate is scrunchies when it crunches. I swear that guy turned his head so fast he broke his neck. But he was just so into it he kept going despite dying. Scrunchies. When it crunches. This kid is so extra, Mario Lopez should host him. Crunches, when it crunches. One of my favorite things to do is to just pause at random moments. Every frame looks like a quartz from a Smilex commercial. Crunches, when it crunches. And chocolate, so natural, only your undertaker knows for sure. Crunches, when it crunches. That term sounds familiar, too. I wouldn't be surprised if a scrum diddly lawsuit is in the near future. I shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses, etc., etc. No, really. What is up with this kid? That's why I love Nestle Crunch. He looks at that bar the same way he look at a girl he's keeping alive in a pit. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. It puts the foil on its skin or else it gets the crunch again. Not surprisingly, this kid has become a meme. With his intensity being so much, people edit in different replacements for the crunch sound effect. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. Ah! That's why I love Nestle Crunch. Yeah! That's why I love Nestle Crunch. 
As funny as those are, I feel like they've all been done and I can't think of any to add. I don't know. How about this? That's what I love. Nestle Crunch. Punchline! There, I killed the meme. It's what I do. I guess if it sparked its own series of comedic edits, there must be some passion behind it that a lot of people got into. Hell, these actors certainly did. That's what I love. Nestle Crunch. Good day, sir! Abba cookie. What the scientifically proven fuck? A munchy monster cookie. Do you shove those in their mouths before you drag them to your windowless van? This is an ad for monster cookies. And I guess on paper this idea is kinda cute. A monster giving kids sweets to munch on. The execution, though pretty terrifying. Abba cookie. A munchy monster cookie. The looks on these kids says it all. They're just playing around and then suddenly they're like, Is this how I die? This boy thought he was doing a My Buddy commercial. And then he's like, Do I scream, run, or play dead? I'm pretty sure they cut before this girl started gagging on hers. Every one of them looks like a last known image on an FBI's missing list. I feel like this was an Operation Cookie Monster was setting up. And they come in six great flavors. First one free, then you pay. To make things funnier, he out of nowhere starts singing, and the temp music in the commercial doesn't accompany him. With milk, go lunch, or as a snack, there's monster money on every pack. Six great flavors can't be beat. They're the only monsters people eat. Yeah, I just wanted to sing there. My improv teacher says I'm the exception to yes and. I'm sorry, I love this ad. It's the surrealism that makes it so great. Because if you think it's weird with kids, imagine this shit happening randomly with adults. All right, you psychopath. We've given in to all of your demands. Now where is the bomb? You want the bomb, pig? Solve this riddle in five seconds or it goes off. What's red on the inside? Huh? But a cookie. Oh, 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 God, God, man, get that out of my face. What are you doing? Freeze! You may have blown up three other buildings already, but you are not gonna get away with this- Oh, oh God, man, what the fuck? Get out of here! Jill, I have some bad news about Mommy. What is it, Daddy? Well, you know how we said her job was very dangerous? What do you mean, was? Well, in her last assignment, she... Of a what cookie. the hell? You son of a bitch! I'm trying to give the worst news I've ever given in my entire life! Have a cookie. Get that out of my face, goddammit! What the hell's the matter with you? I said have a cookie. Okay, we'll have a cookie. Daddy, what's wrong with mommy? Don't worry about that right now! Just do whatever the monster says! <laughs> she seems sad. You know what'll help? A cookie. Yeah, yeah, sure. Cookies solve everything. <laughs> Shut up! Man, I went darker faster than usual on this one. Insane? Yes. Hilarious? Also yes. Monster cookies, they're everywhere! <laughs> Shut up! It's Neil, gotta, gotta go, go turtle! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Here's your obligatory poop one. <laughs> Seriously, why do girls love things that shit? For celebrating how dainty, cutesy, and elegant you are, you sure do love stinky ass turds a lot. You're supposed to mature faster than us! <laughs> Even the kid in the commercial looks like, I have no idea why this is a thing. Speaking of which, did you catch the name of this literal stinker? Gotta go turtle! Out now! Because of course it's called that! What was Shih Tzu and Peacock already banned? Oh, oh, gotta go! Bad enough this thing drops a deuce, but does it have to look like Frankenberry's tumor? It's gross, it's weird, and not in a good way, I hate this. Let's do it again! Let's do it again! Gotta go turtle! Out now! Comes with number for therapists if your kid actually wants one. Big pieces. Hell yeah, who didn't grow up with this jingle in their head? Reese's Pieces, Head Pieces, Neck Pieces, Hair Pieces. Ah! Want some Cocoa Pebbles? Reese's Pieces, Eye Pieces, Nose Pieces. Ah! This is one of those jingles everyone remembers and no one remembers. Because it's so catchy, yet you never remember the variations of the word pieces. So in your head, you'd always be humming big pieces, little pieces, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces. And that's in your head forever! 
The only one people remember is gold pieces because they had that sound effect of an opera singer climaxing. Gold pieces, silver pieces, pieces, pieces. Come on, let's come up with some more memorable ones so we can hum it better. Body pieces, Jesus pieces, pizza pieces, pizza, pizza. Reese's pieces, peaches pieces, pizza pieces, Shit. pizza pieces, Reese's pieces, lost pieces, missing pieces, bits and pieces, Reese's pieces. All right, now get to the part where you say fucking shell. The famous flavor of Reese's peanut butter in a fun candy shell. You know they didn't say it, but did they say it? They said it. Imagine it's these actors singing in. There's no debate. They definitely said it. Three pieces, two pieces, one piece. I know it's super simple, but sometimes that's the best. I still love this commercial, and it's fucking shell to pieces. Hey, you know what the internet's not talking a lot about? He-Man. Well, these money supermarket ads are, as they joke that they saved so much money, He-Man and Skeletor became more epic. In the most He-Man Skeletor way possible. Man and Skeletor, cure so money supermarket. <laughs> Confirmed, He Man and Skeletor, completely straight. Yeah, I bet you didn't know the bar you walked into was the Blue Oyster. <laughs> These ads are really funny, right down to the fact that Skeletor is wearing sunglasses despite the fact that he has no eyes. I'm gonna learn how to fly. <laughs> Even Christopher Lloyd's getting into the action. Skeletor saved at Money Supermarket. He feels epic. Man, how much must have Skeletor hated the competitor supermarkets to be this enthusiastic? What do you mean you don't carry that item? Well, sir, there aren't a lot of people that ask for skin. And I suppose purple loincloths with blue spandex and tiny claws are out of the question, too? Are you sure you're not thinking of the Leather Treasure store on 69th Street? Listen here, you bobble-headed bureaucratic boob! You will rue the day you didn't overstock your wares with rhyme-encrusted havoc staffs! Hello? That was Leather Treasure on... 69th Street. Thank you! Yeah. These ads are great. They're funny, they're imaginative, and they had double the screen time He-Man had in Masters of the Universe Revelation. Skeletor! You're so money supermarket. Oh, if I had a nickel every time someone used that catchphrase. Daddy, watch me feed my baby Argon. Screw that kid, Dad! Watch this milk disappear into a hole in the bottle! All gone! Daddy, you can fool him again! She's got a bit of a toot, doesn't she? Daddy, watch me feed my baby Argon. Daddy, you can fool him again! Don't you girls explain me! I bought this Cabbage Patch Village of the Damn Doll, I can take it back! Yeah. Gotta love the realism of how she eats her food. My baby Argon, you make it all gone. Jesus, did it make a vacuum sound every time it did that? <laughs> Hook on the attachment, she can do the couch! And how'd you get those cherries out of her afterwards, like I need to ask? Now, get her favorite! Mmm, smells like cherries! Apparently one of the big things about this toy was the cherries, which a lot of people swear was one of the best smelling things on Earth. How much do people love it? The cherries alone, not including the doll, go from 75 to $100. Jesus fuck! Even the dad sniffing them is like, Aw oh, shit man, any more of that in my life? Maybe I can sell the kids to get more. Well, okay, here's the cherries. Let's see what's so special about them. I knew it. An odd commercial, but clearly got the job done and left a big impact. And probably killed a few brain cells from huffing, too. My baby Argon! This is Baby Argon. Baby Argon comes with everything you see here. Oh, what kind of catchphrase is that? This ad had a better catchphrase. Hello and welcome to DraftKings. What would you like to order today? Can't make up your mind? Well, okay, it's Thanksgiving week and DraftKings, the official fantasy partner of the NFL, has your shot to gobble up some winnings. New customers can play free for millions with their first deposit. Nothing goes better with your turkey, stuffing, and pie than feasting on big catch prizes from DraftKings. So you don't want to sleep on this offer with a large fries.
Oh, also, playing daily fantasy football is simple. Just pick your lineup of NFL stars while staying under the salary cap and score enough points to bring home cash. Oh, and with a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes, you'll have another reason to be thankful this year. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want, with a large soda of your choice. Wait, that was another week. Where's the call to action here? Oh, here we go. Download the DraftKings app now and use promo code CRITIC to play free for millions this Thanksgiving weekend. That's right. Enter the promo code CRITIC to get a free shot at millions in total prizes with your first deposit. Only at DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. So, what do you say? You ready to order with DraftKings? Uh, who are you? Oh, um... DraftKings the best, baby! Huh, that was weird. Anyway, welcome to Chime! What would you like to order? Need help? Of course I'm, like, so good at this. Your online checking account shouldn't cost you money. That's why Chime, see how I tied it all together there? An award-winning app and debit card has no overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, monthly service fees, or transfer fees. They have, like, over 60,000 fee-free in-network ATMs at locations like Walgreens, 7-Eleven, CVS, and more. That's, like, more than the top three national banks combined. Right? You want to know more? I'll tell you more. You can also send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime. No fees for you or cash-out fees for them. Oh, and totally get this. Chime is giving away $10 to the first 1,000 people to sign up for a Chime account using my exclusive promo code. You ready? This is so easy to do. Just go to Chime.com slash enroll, enter the promo code Nostalgia, and activate your Chime debit card within 30 days of enrolling to get your $10. Now, go join the millions of people loving Chime. Offer ends February 28, 2002. Check out Chime.com slash enroll to learn more. Oh, goody, here's all that stuff I get to say fast. Banking services provided by a debit card issue by the Bancorp Bank or Stripe Bank and a members FDIC. Out of network ATM withdrawal fees apply except at Money Pass ATM in a 7-Eleven location and at any All Point or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. Other fees such as third party and cash deposit fees may apply. So, okay, you ready to order with Chime? Hey, who are you? I'm out of here, that's what I am. <laughs> Chime Driver, baby! Why is this a thing? We went on a Disney cruise with Mickey and Goofy. I guess there's a rumor this Disney Cruise Line commercial was banned shortly after running. While I can't find any confirmation for that, it honestly wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> it starts off innocent enough with a kid talking with her mom about how much fun she had on the trip. My own club and my mom had a mud bath with daddy. <laughs> ship had a great spa. But then it ends with this topper. That's my baby brother. His name is Joe, but mom calls him a little souvenir. Damn, Disney, I thought the dick of the Little Mermaid poster was all you tried to slip by. Yes, this ad is corny, but I gotta give them credit for having the cojones to go through with this laugh. So much so that here's my top ten jokes I'm gonna follow it up with. Mom calls him a little souvenir. Goofy was watching, he liked it doggy style. Mom calls him a little souvenir. Their condoms were shaped like Mickey hats. Mom calls him a little souvenir. No, really, they sell children. Mom calls him a little souvenir. It was in the Pinocchio wing, so that did help a little bit. Mom calls him a little souvenir. Candy is dandy, but the mini margarita is quicker. Mom calls him a little souvenir. And if they can't afford that souvenir, I might get a new mom and daddy. Mom calls him a little souvenir. I was wondering why mommy kept thanking her little steamboat Willie. Mom calls him a little souvenir. Daddy keeps asking, why does he look like Prince Eric from the meet and greet? Mom calls him a little souvenir. Mommy said her prayers a lot that night. She kept shouting, oh God, oh God. And the number one joke I can follow this up with is... Not even my line to say. It's the announcers. Disney Cruise Line, come. Play me off, Paul! Yes, it's a little dirty, but hey, Disney's always been a little bit. Come, discover uncharted magic. <laughs> he said, come. They come at night. Sure we're still not in the Disney commercial? They strike without warning. Oh, no! But now, it's your turn to get even. Grab his arm! Now, if you've been online for a while, you've probably seen a lot of memes where people mock how kind of twisted and deranged stretch dolls are. <laughs> well, make room, Clown Spider and Edward's circumcised hands. There's a new lineup for my nightmares tonight. But this is the one that just embraced it. 
As far as I know, these are the only stretch dolls that actually scream in agony when you pull them. Oh my god! Hey kids, did you think Sid was the hero in Toy Story? Well, with our little serial killer starter kit, you can be too! Electronic stretch screamers. And when you squeeze their heads... Why are they even attacking these things? All they did was cast a shadow. That's literally all they did! <laughs> Someday I'll do this to something fleshier. They scream when you stretch them and come back for more. They're so lifelike, this one prays. Hail Mary full of ground! They even make conversation before you torture them. Frank? Yeah? Last night I dreamed I died. That sounds wonderful. Oh god, oh. here we go! Ah! It's pretty sick and demented, but... Nope, that's all I got. Electronic stretch screamers, you can battle them all. Hey, you're wondering why these jokes are so dark? That's what we grew up with! Why are women so happy about new tickle antiperspirant? Well, with a name like that, I can guess. These tickle deodorant ads are kinda like those ASMR videos that swear they're just about sensory relaxation, but no. You can't fully explain it, but no. Is it because tickle is the first roll-on with a big, wide ball? <laughs> I find women touching a big, wide ball and laughing is usually a demeaning combo. Everything about this sweater scene is even odder. Firstly, since everything is shot like a 70s porno, how can I not see what I'm seeing right now? Second, when her eye pops out, I swear it's something out of an A24 horror film. And finally, she's like, oh, you found me and I was convincing her. These ads are so weird. Not that they had much prompting for laughing already, but some of these are really out of nowhere. Tickle comes in four fresh fragrances. <laughs> Christ! I thought we were past the Smilex commercials. Look at this woman. It looks like she's going to catch a ball and then suddenly she bursts out laughing. <laughs> Make yourself happy. Staying drier is nicer, with a little tickle. Well, now you're really sending mixed messages, because I got wetter is better. Tickle helps keep you dry all day. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I need a woman's perspective on this. Hey, Tamara. Yeah? You wear deodorant, right? I hoped that would be obvious. And you don't find yourself randomly laughing out of nowhere, do you? <laughs> <laughs> So, you use tickle deodorant? Never heard of it. What the fuck? I'm sure the product's good, but this commercial's laughable, to say the least. Make yourself happy. Staying drier is nicer, with a little tickle. <laughs> the official deodorant of Totally Spies. No, really. There's nothing else going on. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. 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 Head on. Apply directly to the forehead? Available at Walgreens. Oh, you switched it up. Way to keep us on our toes. Head on. Apply directly Oh my to god, the it's not over? Did you feel we needed an intermission among all that repeating? Cause you're right, please stop. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Available at Walgreens. Okay. We good? New, from the makers of- How is this still going? I feel like the Manchurian candidate, like these are the secret words to activate me to kill someone. Activon, apply directly where it hurts. Apply directly where it hurts, apply directly where it hurts, apply- Activon arthritis. Oh, that you gave us one of? Available at Walgreens. Okay, what the hell was that? You gotta credit this genius marketing. It's a product designed to cure a headache, so what better way to prove it than to give you a headache? Head on. Apply directly. Oh my to god, another! Head. Head on. This commercial directly definitely needs Julianne Moore from Magnolia to offset it. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Directly to the forehead. Now you must really shut the fuck up. Now, please. Shut the fuck up. Forehead. Head yeah, this is awful. Directly to the forehead. You're awful. You're awful. You're awful. Next one. Head on. Available at Walgreens. Shut the fuck up! Weather in the room seems to be getting cloudier. Looks like there's lightning on the horizon. Well, the weatherman said there was a chance of ominous music. Oh god, you know what that means. PSAs are coming! 
Yeah, that's from the people who brought you. Ah! And, oh god! We get even more overseas PSAs. Okay, let's get these over with. What are we starting on? Yeah, I'll do it when I get back. This one's from New Zealand. Okay, I know them for Lord of the Rings and nothing else. Let's see if they got. You know they got in Kirk's class. What, Darren? Nah. His mate, the one with the funny Oh, him. He's such a geek. Well, hey, you you are. Are. Oh, Christ, just crashed already. Oh, they're allowing us to know them before our hearts are ripped out. Or theirs, we'll have to see. He's so cool. He's at the weed, mate. Did he say weed? Is that legal in New Zealand? Yep, oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Thought it'd be worse. Jesus <laughs> Cristo! How long was that girl in the air? That was like a cartoon! <laughs> Lovely. Okay, why well, don't we get the point? Oh, no, we gotta do a play-by-play. -play. I mean, I think there were only two moves, fly and plummet. We can put together what happens in between. Okay, point well made. Do commercials have a part two now? Why does everybody think they're the Dune movies? Okay, we good? We over? Oh, okay, that was the next ad. But honestly, would it shock you if there was a part three? I mean, man, can you imagine a kid going back to his Saturday morning cartoons after that? And now, back to the Care Bears. Okay, that was fucked up. Congratulations, New Zealand. You're the new Canada, the new Britain, the new Northern Ireland. Yeah, that's right. It's in Northern Ireland instead of Ireland this time. I got it right. I mean, geez, what's the big difference between the two anyway? Okay, that was a big difference, but you get the point. You are the new messed up kid, New Zealand. Oh God, we got another one? Where is this one from? Australia? Train schedules can change. Oh, and trains are involved. That's gonna end well. Never enter a crossing unless you are absolutely sure your exit is clear. God. God, 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 God. Don't play with trains. Game over, man! The world has made me afraid of everything! I take it this was a campaign? There were a lot of these? Sweet maple Jesus, of course there is! Don't you want people to go outside? I mean, are Australia's regular ads this messed up? Let me guess, this was also a popular campaign. Oh, yup. Okay, now you got the trophy. You're the new New Zealand. Anything else you want to scare me with? One back in America. Oh, I can't wait. Do you want to trade? That's a brick. Okay, that is the most creatively disturbing thing I've seen in a while. Good job. What's it a PSA for? Respect the pouch! Respect it! Wait, this was an ad for Capri Sun? And not just an ad, this was also a campaign. The idea was some kid somewhere disrespects a bag of Capri Sun and is punished in a fitting way. And not just a fitting way, a freaky as hell way. Each of these is like a scary stories ending. When I first saw them, I swore it was an ad against drugs or bullying or I don't know, something more warranting of such creepy imagery. But no, it was to sell a children's fruit drink you have in summer. And this is by far some of the most imaginative, unnerving surrealism I've seen on TV. Fish! <laughs> okay. I guess we come full circle. Not only is the most uncomfortable PSA in America, but it's not even a PSA. It's a goddamn kids ad. Good job. Life, you really threw me for a loop. Now please, in God's name, no more. Ah, no. Respect the pouch, respect it.
And that's it for this year's commercial special. Though there is one thing that still bothers me. Who was that monster hand oh, creeping oh, a cookie? Enjoy, you cantankerous, cringe-peddling cock swallow! There ain't no punchline, man! I mean, come on, we couldn't think of something funnier? Well, you know what goes well with cookies. Wilkins Coffee. I shit. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. You will rule the day you didn't overstock your wares with ram encrusted havoc stuff! It fell apart so that this is why I need ram encrusted havoc stuff, goddammit! <laughs> <laughs> was that monster hand creeping everyone out? Hey, Doug Walker here, doing a charity shout out. If you hear like noise outside, they're doing something on the street. I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm gonna give you uh, the charity shout out once again uh, because I just got back uh, from a convention. Uh, I did decide I'm just always gonna do this charity whenever I go to conventions because whenever someone takes a picture of us, we take that money and we put it uh, to the charity of the week. And I think I'm just always gonna make it the same charity because this is a really good charity. It's the uh, Center for Victims of Torture. And if you hear that word I don't know in my mind there's literally nothing worse it is the word everybody goes to describe the worst of the worst was that oh it's torture it's awful there's literally nothing worse so to me this is like one of the best charities you can do and I think that's the reason <laughs> I'm having it every single time I go to a convention because I just can't imagine anything worse so uh, we've done this one a couple times it's a really really good organization they try to not only uh, stop torture wherever it's done but they try to help those that have been affected by it and the families of it uh, it's just a really really good organization that definitely deserves uh, your attention and your donations if possible. If not, please spread the word about it because, again, there's literally nothing worse uh, that at least I can think of. So please definitely spread the word about the good that these people are doing, and I'll see you next time. Take care.